Hello, hello, hello. Hello, dorks. Hello, dorks. Look at, look at this. I've been busy. Check it out. Oh, I see you. I can't. I'm gonna have to learn how to point. <laughs> How's it going? I have done a thing. There's now, there's now little dorks to, to keep us occupied. Um, yeah, this is this is what I've been up to for the last. Uh, it's taken a while. <laughs> I won't I won't bore you with the details, but I have managed to uh, rip all of the actual game files out of Dwarf Fortress, which was not a rip. I found them in the folder. <laughs> They're all just in there. Um, and then got fancy with uh, with some pixely stuff and some a real gnarly batch file to, to script the export process. Um, but now it's all working in a thing called Stream Avatars, which is cool. I didn't know about a couple months ago. Uh, and you can like make your own junk in there. Um, this is still definitely a work in progress, so. Uh, you know, let me know what's what's funky and what doesn't work. Uh, but I mean, look, you you figured that much out so far, so can't be that bad. Um, yeah, cool, perfect. Um, and there's like commands and stuff. Like, watch this. Watch, 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 watch. Make a little star, and now you have to type exclamation point jump, and you have to time it with the star, and then you can catch the star. <laughs> See if, and then I like I can even I can even participate. Yeah, it's it's dumb in the best way. So I'll just I'll just leave that there, and that will just kind of be I'll just be going. And then now we all just live down here in the in the frame element down here. Anyway, uh, we're also playing Door Fortress. So. Hooray! I'm glad it's working. <laughs> anyway, um, that's the that's the that's the big news, I guess. News, whatever. Um, otherwise, we're we're dwarfing. We're dwarfing while we're dorking. So. That's cool. I have to remember what the heck was even going on here. While uh, we were making military quarter stuff, we were... I'm just gonna unpause. What's all this? Oh, there's a bunch of... Oh, the, <laughs> the bayberries from inside are landing outside. People are gonna have to go out and grab those. Ow, it's already... Look! People! Hello! Perfect. <laughs> um, everything is definitely not perfect in there. Um, I know there's some... I think there's still some layering it fiddling to do. Um, and I know in particular there's a bunch of weapons... Oh! We have a bear. We have a black bear. Um, there's a bunch of really long weapons, like the halberds and stuff. I don't... I haven't figured out the placement of those in relation to, like... The hand and stuff quite yet, as it actually doesn't look that bad. Um, because the way that the way that Dwarf Fortress handles sprites and the way that like literally everything else handles sprites is kind of different. Um, it's yeah. So like the the halberd in particular is like so long that if it's being held in the hand, then the bottom of the the hilt goes down past the feet. You jumped. Excellent. Um, but like stream avatars detects the bottom of like the most lowest point of the sprite is the feet as far as like what it stands on goes. So I don't know what the best. I don't know what the solution there is. I'm gonna keep filling. Anyway, there's a bear. Um, it'd be cool if everyone stayed inside. You were going out to construct that. Okay, so we're gonna have we're gonna have a bunch of people running around. <laughs> what is this bear even doing? It's gonna. It's just gonna 
come and, and maul someone, isn't it? If it could end up in a cage trap, that'd be fantastic. Maybe? No. There we go. <laughs> Caught a bear. Safe now. Because um, I don't think there's... Look at all of our caged creatures. Wow. We need to start doing something with our caged critters. Uh, what do we have that's not caged? We have a bunch of great horned owl people in the air, I presume. And some cave critters. Dralthas are cave critters. Dralthas are cool. And then everything else is caged. Okay. Um, one thing that we should work on is our military. We were just starting to... These are, these are gone. And we have our, our bees. Look at our bees. Oh, that's right. And I didn't, I didn't set all these up. Um... Because we had a crash towards the end of the last stream, so I there's some things that haven't been redone, I guess. Uh, how about you? You have a sheer animal. It's all good. And this is all fine. We tr did we trade? Did we trade? I don't remember if we traded. Well, we must have, because our stuff isn't here no more. I think we traded. We must have. We must. I'm going to assume we trade. We did trade. Anyway, military stuff because we're going to need help with all these bears and things. I have the. I have a hunch that that's going to continue being a thing. I'm going to do. I'm going to start with two squads of five. I think. Man, we're already almost up to our our population cap even. Ridiculous. Uh, so I want. What do I want? Do I like a chest? Sure. Give him a cabinet. Probably hasn't been made yet. No, maybe. Um, and then. Keep putting like the the weapon racks and the armor stands in these places, even though they don't do anything yet. Pretty sure we'll just we'll do that, and then we can say barracks and barracks. And it's a training area, so it's just a is that just a meeting area? No, it's a it is also a barracks. Um right. Uh, this is also gonna be our archery range, so we want to dig that out as well. But now we can... Oh, I need to make a militia commander, of course. That's important, I guess. Hey, look, our chief medical dwarf is the only person who has any tactical knowledge. Why is that how that works? Uh, <laughs> um, okay, everyone else, Sarah Nolt sucks. Okay, who wants to be the militia commander? Who's getting drafted here? Oh, uh, we could do expedition leader. We could do soap maker, otter, fisher dwarf. We have a hunter anywhere? No. Isn't trader, siege operator, gym cutter, diagnostician. You can also just pick a straight up peasant. Okay, there's no great options here, is there? No, it isn't. Greetings, Kel. Uh, let me, let's check out, let's look at what Kel is up to, or what, what's up with Kel, I should say. Uh, names. How do buttons work? There, you do. 
want to look at you. A competent mace dwarf, okay. And then some, some novice shield usage and armor usage, that's rusty. An observer and discipline, that's rusty, okay. This is not a terrible person for the for the military, I don't think. Former member of some site governments. They have not been to Elder Ring. Um, Elder Ring was... And I can't even remember. I'd see it if I... I'd remember if I saw it. Poor memory next to no natural musical ability. Um, extremely confident in himself in situations requiring his skills, prone to strong feelings of jealousy, likes to keep things practical without delving too deeply into the abstract. That sounds like a military person. Uh, where's our... I'm just... There we go. Okay. Uh... Values. Dreams of crafting a masterwork someday. Okay, so that's that's one thing you kind of want to look for uh, when you're choosing. If you're being choosy, one thing you can be choosy about um, is what dreams people have when you place them into certain roles. Because a lot of people will have like dreams of creating a masterwork, which means they have to be get good at some skill that creates masterwork things, which is not everything. Um, so like a, mi a military person is going to get really good at Axdorfen, but they're not going to create a masterwork thing by being really good at hitting things with axes. So I'm kind of uh, relegating this person to the fate of never accomplishing their hopes and dreams by putting them in the military. Um, so that's a thing to keep in mind. Um, you'll also see... And I'm, you'll also notice that I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going with it. Um, you'll also see a really common dream is uh, dreams of mastering a skill. And that's a good one to put in like in the military. Uh, do we have we have no things to uniform at all. The tin blots. That's a good one. Um, and everyone is just not a wrestler. Interesting. Okay, well, let's pick some some people we don't really care about. Let's do Potter. Another Potter. Glassmaker, Fisher Dwarf, Peasant. Broker, Planter, Peasant. We'll just, we'll draft the, draft the Peasants. It's fine. Peasant. We'll start with five. Uh, we might even just start with the one squad of five. So let's do... Click to configure civilian alert. What? That's new. Choose a burrow where you want your civilians to hide during danger. This is a... Oh, wow. This is a DF hack thing. Um, I was complaining about this in, in our previous fortress. So it looks like they basically duplicated a prior free, a prior base game feature and duplicated it into DF Hack. So that's cool. Um, but we should make a burrow. I'm assuming this pops up. Yeah, it just pops up with that button. That's cool. Um, so we should make a, a safety burrow. And then we can tell people to run inside whenever bears start running around. Well, that's useful. Um, anyway, we want to set a schedule. Um, so for... Yeah, we're going to put them on staggered training. View monthly. And right now they're doing three months on and three months off. And I kind of like to say we were doing two on, two off last time. Maybe we'll we'll start with we'll keep this the default for the moment. The training order itself. At least ten. So I'm gonna crank this down to like three. Cause if we say by default, this will say that they will train, but they'll try to get ten people together in order to do a training session. There's not 10 people in 
the squad, so it's just gonna, it's not gonna work very well. Um, so we'll say that they can train, but they need at least three people to train. Um, they're going to always keep their equipment on. They're going to sleep in the barracks at will. So I want them here. And... Yeah. And did that all... What? Why didn't it work? Three... Eric said will... Done editing. Isn't it staying? Editing routine staggered training. Or no, okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is that how that works? There's combat somewhere. Somebody's fighting. Stop fighting! I'm trying to get my. Uh oh. Minor latches on firmly. That's always a good sign. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Is someone dead here? No. Great Horned Owl Man. Mutilated corpse. Okay. Someone is doing good. Chief Medical Dwarf is fighting. Um, okay, so we had two Great Horned Owl Men fight. That's cool. Minor punches a great horned owl man in the neck. Tearing apart the spine's nervous tissue. Cool. We killed that one. What about the other one? Minor shakes the great horned owl man around by the arm. Tearing apart the arm's muscle. Tearing apart the shoulder's muscle, bruising the bone, artery in the arm has been opened. Many nerves have been severed. Wow, you just ripped an owl person's arm off. That's neat, I guess. Um, is our medical dwarf okay? And an agitated giant stoat. Also happening out here. Is that a you know, giant stoat trap? Okay. And there's... there's another mutilated body. Well, good job. Uh, that's three things that could have been worse, I guess. <laughs> um, we... We're gonna be dealing with critters like that forever, unfortunately. We wanna... we mostly wanna keep our outside activities limited, which of course is cool because I wanted to farm out here. Um, is everyone okay currently? Yeah, you all got interrupted. I get that. Where are you? You're gonna go grab some stuff? Yeah, you're gonna grab the, the cage. Okay. Well, that's... I guess that all works. Um, we have these roads to build, but once these roads are done, I think people will be out here much less. So, I think we just want to crank through and get that done. Uh, what was I... Yes. Build. Road. <laughs> Paved road. And in theory, we still have a whole bunch of rock salt. Cool. And yeah, that'll take a second for them to complete, but that's fine. Oh, I was going to check the critters. That's what I was going to do. 
Do we still have... We have elk birds. Those are cave creatures. We have a giant falcon. Neat. Gorlack is a cave creature. Caved, caged bear. Look at all these caged critters. We're going to have so many caged critters. Should we just trade them? Should we trade all of our... Just catch a stoat and give it to a human? It's fine. He'll he'll settle into his new home just fine. Don't worry about it. Um, but this is going to be our this is be our animal stockpile. How far are you off affiliate? I must be on the edge. I mean, yeah, it's strictly the um, average viewers. As I, I I have a lot of streams where I'm like one or two viewers, and then like maybe somewhere I'm three or four. So uh, once I get to once I get to uh, three average viewers for the last month, rolling average, then then I'll be affiliate. Everything else is taken care of. Um, it's that's kind of part of why I was doing the the stream avatars. Hopefully that'll keep people to stick around. Oh, does it just make its own stars? That's cool. I didn't make that star. And watching you, you're just around three. Yeah, I mean, like I feel like I'm hovering around three, a bit, but not not always above. Sometimes I spend as much time above as below, or probably more below, <laughs> realistically. Um, so it'll it'll happen. Uh, but this is gonna be an animal stockpile. It will accept all the things, and then this is going to stop accepting. I'll, they'll move all the stuff here, that's fine. Dingo Woman Lasher is visiting. Neat. Needs logs, of course. Um, someone should be coming out to, to chop this one. Yeah. Okay, oh, someone now. You need to stream every day in a month on the month. No, it's um. Once you do that, you just need the other ticks. I have I have all the other ticks. Um, I stream enough. Like you don't need to stream every day, um, to make affiliate. Um, it's like a. It's all. It's strictly like last thirty days is the only thing they measure as far as I can tell. And it's streaming a certain number of days within a month and. Something else, and then average viewers over three. Um, but like the, like I stream enough. It's ju it's literally just average viewers. Yeah, fingers crossed. It'll happen. It will only a matter of time, really. Anyway, uh, we want we want wood. Where where? So this is a there's a pine here. Large high wood, high wood. I'm gonna leave the high woods. High woods are cool. You can have a couple high woods outside. Um, this high wood, maybe we get rid of. Bayberry, larch, high wood, larch. I just, I want all the bayberries inside. That's really the thing. Fine, large bayberry. Bayberry. These high woods right at the edge. Yeah, look at all these berry trees. And we have cave access. We can go down there and chop a bunch of trees down there too if we really want to. Okay. Mo mostly just keep an eye on on all these uh, all the goings ons here. Sure is a lot of um. There's a lot of stuff that can happen on the surface. Hey, look, some migrants. We only have so much room. There's one. And a turkey. And two. Three. Is that it? <laughs> Three. Cool. 
Okay. Oh, we need more jet too. Um, one thing at a time. Uh, let's <laughs> let's get our our barracks sorted. Oh, and they already moved all that stuff. Man, game's moving so nicely now. Um, so we go. So now that we have a squad, we can come into here and assign that squad to sleep here. Store their stuff here. They're not going to train in the bedroom. They're going to train here. And then same thing here. Uh, let's do barracks. Except Zerus plot beneath. Hmm. I'm not going to. There's the trick where you channel out beneath an archery range to kind of preserve, preserve some of your bolts, but I want to... The space is going to be for, for storage, I think, so I'm not going to do that this time. Um, this is going to be... This is also for training. Or no, archery range is its own thing. Uh-huh. Archery range. Hooray! And then... We want to build some targets. Which are here. We can just do like that. That's probably fine. And then we say they shoot that way. And they are training here. Cool. Archery range, hooray. Hey, look, they're even they're even training already. And see they made a little group of three. They had three people available, so now they're they're doing a training drill. And now a fourth one has joined in. Nope, that one's just storing an item in a bin. Okay. Cool. They're doing it's individual combat drills, so I guess they don't really need to be a group to do so, but they're they're working on it. Yeah, cool. Okay. Now I want to make sure that their orders are actually... What did? Mm -hmm. Based. Yeah, see, I want... No number of soldiers to follow new order. Oh, I see. So I need to station order, training order. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So here's how this works. So by default, when you start a squad, the squad has an order in there for training for 10 people. You can, I just removed that order. So now I'm going to create a new order with three people for training. There. Okay. That's how you do that. So then if you wanted to, um, also give them an order to station or patrol or defend a burrow. You can also do that with these buttons down here. So I could say, for instance, I'm not going to do this right now, but I could say I want three people training and I want three people patrolling. And since we don't have a here, oh, you can just do it there. Um, and then if I do that, then yeah. So I just I just made a stupid little patrol route. But now, what this would do is while you know while this month's block of orders are active, I want three people to be training, and I want three people to patrol this patrol route that I've made. And they'll they'll kind of figure themselves out to that. And you could even assign. I'm pretty sure I could do editing. No. No. I don't know what I don't know what these would do. Anyway, um, all I want to do is done editing. So then it did it stay? Yeah, so now. That should be fine. And then we copy, paste, paste. 
paste, paste, paste. Now they should all say train three. Cool. That's how you do that. Now we have a single squad of five being told to train in at least groups of three for half the year. Oh, no, what? See, I look away for one second. Now what's going on? Agitated, agitated wolf man made in gold corpse. Agitated wolf man mutilated corpse. Agitated wolf man mangled corpse. Who is annihilating people for us? Here. Fisher Dwarf has a crossbow. And Stoneworker has nothing. The agitated wolf woman seriously injured. It just <laughs> okay. Uh, were you not gonna finish the job? Eh, she'll she'll bleed out eventually. Just wander off. Okay. What else is happening? There's wolf people, giant bats, and rodents. Okay, so there's also cave junk happening at the same time. That's less concerning. The duck child is fighting. The duckling attacks the agitated wolf man. Okay, the duckling stands. The duckling survived? What is what what is up with our fortress? This is Okay, so we have one more agitated wolf woman. And that's that one, and it's bleeding. Chad Duckling, no kidding. My goodness. Uh I guess we're okay? That's an awful lot of combat for everything being okay. Chief Medical Dwarf is fighting. Agitated stoat. Huh. Someone could take care of... <laughs> Overcome by terror, I bet. Okay, well... Oh, and we want to close this again, don't we? That's a, that's an important one to keep track of. Um, how's our bedrooms? All of our bedrooms have beds, but not necessarily doors. In theory, we have a door order. Yeah, door. Those are being worked on, yes. Making doors, perfect. And there's not just a whole bunch of random junk sitting in the workshops, so that's good. Making beds. Wow, look! They cleared up all the junk. And all this looks pretty nice, too. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna guess that our finished good stockpile does not need to be quite that large. And then I will make a wood stockpile a bit larger instead. That seems more reasonable. So the doors will happen. There's quarry bushes growing in our in our thing. Oh, and that's what we need. We need to figure out these pump stacks. These need to actually work. Because we've made the things for them. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel them all. I'll try again, basically. Um, but we don't really have this one is also not. Mm. 
Some things just don't want to work sometimes. Machine vertical axle. I'm gonna do use closest. So we could figure that out. That'd be cool. Of course, now we're getting. Oh, there is stuff growing in here. Hmm. Oh, uh, dead peasant. Great horned owl people. Holy cow. Again. And then, yeah, they're just... Ow. They're descending. Uh, so there's an agitated great horned owl woman and a... Yeah, and a man. Okay. Dang it! Who, who was that? That wasn't one of my... That was one of them! <laughs> we should give the, we should give our squad a, like an actual uniform. So they can actually deal with things. Uh, but, okay. So, alerts. We're gonna do... So, outside is not safe. That much is clear. Um, in here is fine. Right. Down here. This is fine. say that this this area is not in our our safe zone this is all this is all inside basically yeah basically everything below here will be fine Our graves. Oh, but I was gonna say, apparently, if you just do mud on stone, then it will eventually start growing moss. That's what's happening here. This was all just rock, and then it ac we accidentally flooded it with water. Now it's becoming more fungus. Interesting. Anyway, um, so then this we need to rename this something like safety. And then if I, I'm curious how this interacts with this. If I do activate civilian alert. I don't have people assigned to it. But in theory... So now, like, you... Attend meeting. <laughs> oh, but you're seriously injured. Yeah, they all went inside. Except for, except for the injured person. So now it's, someone's not going to be able to come out and... Help you. But you... Why are you... What are you doing? <laughs> Clean patient. Okay. Okay. That was that was interesting. I think some some combat just happened there. Um, is there still there is still one more? You must appoint a militia commander. Did I lose my? We lost our militia commander. Already! I didn't take long. Uh, 
I was just chilling up here. come get you. See, now what I'm curious about is I don't know if anyone can leave the burrow to go get the injured person. Oh, hey, look. Our our woman lasher. Our dingo woman lasher. Maybe you can take care of the owl? That'd be awfully cool. Healthy. Moving awful slow, but missing for a week. What is happening to our people? Jeez. Oh, um, among the things we're gonna do, <laughs> not a good militia commander. I mean, I didn't exactly set him up for success. What with the no armor or weapons or training or safety. Missing for a week. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, place item in tomb and item in inaccessible, so they're not going to be able to come up here to grab dead people things. Yeah. Is, is, is it still here? It is still here. Terrified while in conflict? Well then leave! No one is keeping you here. And we're saving. How do we... How do we keep ourselves safe? We need some... We need some crossbow dwarves, I think. Especially if if the flying stuff is going to be the main danger, which I think it's going to be. I think we need to get some, some crossbow training going. Oh, Monom has been found. Where were you? Way the heck up. Way the heck up there. Okay. <laughs> Just all these flies around. Okay, well... Oh, are you okay now? And you're interesting. Sure, that's a path that makes sense. Oh, now we're getting hold because of... Because of the trees. Open space. Is it just the one? We need to be careful about that. Lower. Now I want to select. That's fine. Um, oh, also, did any new critters show up with our migrants? Not really. We did. We saw uh, a turkey. Yeah, no, this is no more grazing stuff. We still have our two llamas, thank goodness. Llama, llama babies, soon please. Okay, so clearly the alert thing works. See, there's no one out on the surface now. That's really all that matters. And then you just wait until all the bird leaves, I guess. Um, but we need. We need a new militia commander. Ooh, ooh, this time. I guess you're... Yeah, there we go. Just promote someone who's already in the squad. And <laughs> we all need to, re need to replace two of them already. Uh, fish cleaner, you can... You can be in a squad. And lime maker, yeah. And then we need to give them a uniform. Uh, add uniform. 
what if we just... Like, we could make some leather armor. New weapon. Crossbows. New weapon. Or shield. Shield. Hello! Welcome. Did you make your dork? Uh... Yeah. Anyway, um, making a uniform for our squad, because there's a bunch of owl people harassing us. And you ended up over there, too. That's funny. So, like, the, um... That there's... I mean, it's, there's invisible walls in here and such. Oh, I can also, like... Uh, no. How do I... This. <laughs> I can pin you. Uh, outpost liaison. <laughs> I, I assume you have been impaled, I guess. Um, let's just do... Leather armor? I mean... This is going to be the most generic. Just put on clothes, basically. Uh, but we'll make some leather armor. Save. And then we want to assign it to all of them. Did that actually... did that work? No, I keep the wrong button. Details. I want to... this one. There we go. That's what I wanted. So then we just need to make some leather junk. Now uh, let's do let's do it this way. Let's, leather armor. You're all gonna do batches of ten, but I think that's that's probably fine. We do like leather helm. And then leather uh The pin thing should expire. Was my understanding. I think it, it'll, it'll fiddle. It'll go away at some point. I assume the becoming pin is becoming comfy. <laughs> uh, so we got chest. We got head. We should do a greaves. No leggings. Leather leggings. And then maybe some leather. Gauntlets or just gloves? I guess that works. I don't know if those count as armor. Well, they'll figure it out. And then we can do leather boots. Do low boots. And that'll at least be something. And then we should also make some more crossbows. Just have a have a stack of wooden crossbows handy. And then... Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay. Weird. Um, but yeah, there's a little... There's a little invisible floor there. No, that's not what I meant. There we go. I can also do silly things like... Oh! <laughs> I think you can bomb too. Try there's some there's some commands you can do. Try try exclamation point bomb or something. I don't know what all the commands are actually. Uh, okay, so we had some traders just show up. Slash. I don't have any uh, attack animations in there yet. Um, there is there is a way to set up um, a little attack 
Yeah, there is an attack command, but I don't have an animation for it yet, so... TBD. <laughs> Duck, yeah. Um, anything that requires the it to animate, um, try try sit. Because um, there, there is a spot for a sit animation, but I haven't actually put it in yet, so... I don't think it'll actually do anything yet. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> uh, what are you doing up here? Picking up equipment. Uh, how's our... How's our owl situation? We do still have a, an owl up here. I don't want to... don't want to turn off the alert quite yet. Uh, but the the merchants are here, so maybe they'll maybe they'll figure it out. I don't think dance. I, well, I didn't see dance work. Try it again. I can. Oh yeah, dance does work. <laughs> like see that? I didn't have to make an animation for that. That's just stream avatar. It's just like flipping the the thing around. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> um, oh, why is there another? Oh, that's Kel. That's our militia commander. Okay. Dance. Dance, monkeys. Dance, dorks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear the civilian alert. Tell them to all get up here, especially since we're going to trade now. Um, I want some more leather, since we're using all our leather. What else do I care about? It's mostly leather. And cloth. Bring the cloth. And I want weapons, but weapons are heckin' expensive to trade for. We will we'll ask for weapons. X and Yeah, do that. I'm already freezing again. Early autumn, everything's frozen. Are you training? No, you're constructing. You are training. Striking demonstration. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Uh, we want to request our broker and move some bins. Specifically the ones with things inside. Where are you? Here we go. that one. Nope. Nope. We don't have much stuff, do we? Oh, we got a nice big gem bin. Ooh. Radiant cut rubies. Do I just sell some of these? Yeah, just, just bring the gem bin. <laughs> be a good early use of our gems. This still isn't being built, which is just so cool. I guess I did just turn that alert off. Okay. And then in theory, people are coming up to come and grab all of our dead people. Is the thing still here? Oh, they brought a yak. Great Horned Owl. I'm just hoping that in numbers we can deal with them. Like, we've already killed a handful of them, even. What's it doing? It doesn't need to be here.
Now it's going to come harass everyone. I want to put a roof here. I want to put a roof here at the very least so that people can stand inside this little tidy hole. Um, but I think I want a roof on the whole thing. And by roof, I mean floor. No, oh, of course, up here. I'm going to just do this. And then how are we doing on jet blocks? No. The fact that it doesn't show up at all means it's just not getting access to it. Oh, another giant soap trapped. <laughs> wow. Um, we're going to want like a, a way to get on top of here. Ba -da -ba -ba. Um, trying to plan things in my head, but we are not quite there yet. Am I completely out of jet blocks? Very possible. Uh, we could do micro. Klein. Microcline is pretty. Looks like I just want to cut more jet. I did see more jet further down. So we we well and truly mined out all of this. Broker, please come in and trade. Should have opened this. I still can, I guess. Um so we'll we'll close this one. Yeah. should really be down here. Is it linked to two different levers now? No? I'll just have to fix that. Mm -hmm. Look at all of our critters. Wow. We need more cages already. We're gonna have to like... We're going to have to kill the things in the cages so that we don't have to spend all the wood on the cages. Here we go, come on. Interrupted by giant stoked. Yeah. Great. Um, a male yak? I don't think I care about yaks. You have some... Weapons. 100 for an iron warm hammer. That's really not bad. Um, iron pick. Bismuth pick. Mm. Of course, really expensive giant cave spider silk. Hmm. Do... Yeah, that's cheaper. Trade away all my gems. That's a, lot, that's a lot of gems. Oh, did we cut? No, this is all pond turtle shell. I was like, is this all jet? No, it's all pond turtle shell. That's cool. Thought we had a second bin of goods. Maybe not. 17 grand? Wow. What is in here? Square cut rubies, amethysts, ruby cabochons. We just already have a lot of cut gems. Okay. Cool. I'll just trade away some of our gems for leather and stuff. We can get cloth. That's like 800. It's so expensive. A single ruby for a bin of cloth. Like this. Six hundred, nine hundred. 
be very 1600 will be very nice when we can make our own oops our own cloth stuff 900 600 that's not too bad they brought a lot though jeez we're definitely not buying all of this wow feel a little bad that you brought all that stuff okay um, but we'll just toss in yeah some of these cheaper ones and then here have a have a ruby cabochon I'll give you yeah great perfect cool no trader needed And then I mostly need like pay attention to when our people grab our things, but I can close that door and open that door. Are they they're coming? Yeah. Fey mood. Cool. What what will you do? Can we trade for wood? I don't know why they're coming for the wood. Anyway, uh let's just go ahead and pull and pull. That will be all closed off again. Uh, clearly some people need some jobs. How's our hospital? Our hospital's full. Yay! How's everyone doing? Unconscious. Uh, need sutures. Need sutures. Need sutures. Sensing a theme here. Yeah, clearly we need some thread. Okay. Um, because aren't we... We are... Well, there's... How... Oh, they got in here. Okay. Uh, didn't realize that. They... They must have... Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's going to be hard to dig. Cutting our trees inside our courtyard is going to open holes in the floor, into the pasture, in the farm, and ugh. Okay, so no more chopping these trees. That's, that's going to be a problem. Uh, you can be... Salt. Any other holes here? all fine. What else did I chop? I think that's all of it. We're still... Our poor militia commander is still just on the ground out there. We still have both of our, our llamas, thank goodness. Uh, but we'll need to get rid of that. And they're... I'm telling them to shear. I'm hoping that they can shear. Nothing else that belongs in here. I wonder if... A lot of stoats. A lot of stoats. Reclaim all these arrows. Pick up your trash, people. Um, there are some in here, too. Why is no one bringing the corpses to the outside? Because that's just a refuse. Um, 
Is that? Yeah, okay. And I don't want this to take skulls and shells. And keep the skulls and shells. Uh, but we probably need more tombs. I guess. What are we doing? No, we got some unclaimed ones. People are just slacking, as always. Uh, let's go ahead and dig out a handful of others. And then... You are resting. We should dig out the rest of our hospital. <laughs> the migrants! Wow. Okay. Uh, we'll just do that. And that will double the size of our hospital. Do we have... We have cloth and splints. We, just, we don't have thread. So we legitimately don't have thread. Curious. So I don't want them to weave automatically because I want to save some thread. Do we have... I was telling wool to be stored somewhere. Aka, and then there should be Llama in here, too. Yeah. Okay, so we just legit don't have... <laughs> a thread. <laughs> uh, okay, you're all... You're all gonna take out the trash. That's cool. Now... I hope our pond refills. I'm <laughs> kind of bummed that we drained it. Um, but, so since since the crops are being finicky, let's go ahead and do... Not the crops being finicky, the thread is being finicky. So I'm going to grow some pigtails. Clearly don't need to farm for food. Something like this. And then we can make our seed stock pile. This is just food. Except it's not food, <laughs> it's just seeds. And then I think our previous seed stock pile is here. Yeah, so we'll just we'll delete that. All the seeds can go up. We're still... Someone needs to, like, finish this one, please. Why does everyone get 90% done with a job and then leave it every time? These two, these aren't getting made either. Strange. Got, we're up to 49 people. We made our crossbows. You did not ever claim a place, did you? We're missing a workshop that this person wants. What are we missing? Because we have. I should actually look at this stuff. We have loom, clother, leatherworks. Um, I don't think anyone's going to take a, a dye shop for a strange mood. Um, they could want to make all sorts of things at a smelter in a furnace. Uh, let's do... I'm going to make a metalsmith. 
Because there's a lot of stuff that they could be wanting to make from there. Jeweler, we have Stoneworker, we have Carpenter, we have Boyer. We have... Basically the rest of this. Except for like a... And the smelter? They're not going to want a smelter. They could want like a kiln. I'm going to do that just for the sake of satisfying a strange mood. We'll see if it works. Um, but yes, so I saw there was jet somewhere down here. It's all being dug. No, here. And it's far enough down that I don't really care about this level. And it might just be the one level. Uh, so, let's just dig. And be careful to not reach the places we care about. That'll get us some jet, probably. And the pump stack. Machine. Screw pump. Now. I want to select. I want to pump from the south. Or no. This is number one north needs blocks no access to blocks okay um how's our stones so we had a bunch of rock salt but i've also used a bunch of rock salt there's a bunch of mudstone build a bunch of rock salt And we have a bunch of coal and lignite. Okay, maybe we should start smelting. And calinite. Okay. Um, I'm going to say make some rock blocks. And it's going to be out of rock salt. Rock salt blocks. And this is also going to be a thing. Greater than, or no, not, well, yeah, uh, but how many blocks do I want? Just 20 blocks? I'm fine. And then five at a time. Flipped into depression. Is that our no? It's not our fame move person. <laughs> Cancel suture. Need thread. I know. I know. <laughs> I know you have people bleeding out on the table. Now we have children playing in the the bone farm. Good sign. Uh, these are being made. here got made, right? Yeah. Why? 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 Has this been connected? Frozen elsewhere. Oh, but it's all connected. Where is it frozen? These are fine. Frozen here. Do windmills freeze? Why would a windmill freeze? Is it because it's just above 
the water? Why would a why would a windmill freeze? That's unfortunate. how to fix that. Um, I'm also curious if any of these have... Where is the colony? Where is a jug? Oh, I see. I want to... Together products from everything except for like a handful. Yeah, okay. And hopefully someone can install a colony. Um farm plots have not been made yet. This, you did take a metalsmith shop. Oh, I must have cut gems, I must have bones, I must have metal bars. That's a thing that we don't have. Goodness, gonna have to do a whole metal industry under duress. You guys have a mood? Let's see. We can just mostly just kind of duplicate what we're doing here. That would all be fine, I guess. That should be more than enough room for our workshops, at least for the time being. And then, like, all of this is just going to be storage. And then we're going to do... I like, I like this stair setup, so let's... Continue. Um, but I'm gonna bring this up at least that far. If not, I mean, let's go there. That's, that's how much space exists on that level. And then we can do the same thing here. I might even like put a wall in here. I don't. I want to I want to encourage people to use the center as much as possible. Let's do this. Microcline is fine. Do we'll do that. And then we can put in these stairs. We didn't even put them here. This will this will be good. Or no, that's wrong. Almost, not quite. Here. Perfect. Um, and then in the meantime, let's go ahead and just put in 
A smelter is what I need. Uh, merchants will be leaving. That's fine. We traded. Did I open the door for them? Yes. Yes, I did. That was kind of me. Um, I do want to relink this to something downstairs. No wall gate, trade depot access. Uh, trade depot caravan exit. That nah, goes there. Stone. Oh, yes. Well, yes, there is damp stone there. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> That's fine. We have no aquifers here. If that's all of the, uh, that's all the damp stone we find. That's good for me. So now I can't even need a wood burner. Need a you know, wood burner to make charcoal so that I can <laughs> use coal. Uh, right. I need furnace, wood furnace. It's like all temporary. Jeweler's been found dead. Giant stoat is fighting. Uh, where did it go? Is it already gone. That was a that was a quick quick death. Jeez. We're gonna want a way to dispose of corpses indoors soon. That's gonna be a thing. Is my... Did I get stuck behind you? Is that what's happening here? Why am I stuck? Weird. Weird. <laughs> uh... Well, there's more. Mace Dwarf. Agitated Giant Stoat. This is happening as the caravan is leaving. Something tried to get in, I guess. Yeah. Some, uh, a stoat tried to visit the trading caravan, and the caravan has an escort for a reason. Cool. Well... That's one more death. Uh, I think that's all fine. Yeah. Ooh. Needs thread, because of course. But look, another giant wolf. My god. Okay. I'm going to construct some stuff. Stairs and kind of thinking of how do we get before more things just go horribly wrong. No creature. I want there to be a way for soldiers to get from our little barracksy area. This this is the... that. These are... okay, these finally got made. We'll come back to that. Um, <laughs> merchants are just hanging out there. I want to be able to go... But this is... inside here.
but I also want them to be able to come up into like up on top of here and I'll make little towers in the corners I think but like where would that happen can't do here so I could repurpose this area I could we can close this off because all it needs to be here is this so this could be this could be turned back into inside if I just make a wall here. So maybe that's the thing that will happen. Because then if I'm if I'm just going from here or even higher up, or since we're digging, we need to do. No, that's not quite <laughs> what I want. Hmm. So we could even do... I was going to say we could do a passage here, but no, this is our river. That won't work. We could do a passage like here. This is directly under the river which is fine. Like something like that, and then we could even do... Something like this. Which also gives us access to... Like here, I want to put some ballistas here. So then we'll just do something similar. So I think that'll work. This will be our this will be our soldier soldier tunnels. Yeah. I think that I think that'll work. Because then they're just going straight down. And then there's the barracks. It's about as straightforward as it gets. Uh, so we'll do something like that. Actually, do I want one here? This would be hard to kind of close off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enclose this, right? I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe not here. No, we can do the one at least, though. Just build a stair. Comes up. You can be made out of. Do I have. Oop, doop, doop, doop. Oxo blocks. There we go. And then we make a wall like this. <laughs> Four jet blocks. Hooray. Well. I'll get it started at least. And we'll put a we'll put like a hatch on top of that just to make it safe. I even put a hatch here. Boop. Oh, but we don't we don't have hatches. Do we not have a hatch job? We do not have a hatch job. Just also make these out of rock salt. Good enough. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that wolf is concerning. How's our squad doing on equipment? That's a good question. Uh, you equip. You have boots. Array. 
Uh, so you have a crossbow and some trousers. A crossbow and probably some boots. Uh, literally just boots. <laughs> just boots. And nothing. Cool. We're doing great. I am not going to tell them to go kill a wolf, because they're basically naked. <laughs> Oh, are you going to get stuck in there? Like, instantly? Yeah, you are. Can't even finish... Okay. But someone's digging you out. It'll be fine. And Wolf is being shy. I hope it stays that way. It's frozen. What does that even mean? Oh, that's right. We're dealing with this. I must have metal bars. So, make me a couple of charcoal. Right? And then... I'm going to have to do the whole... The holding thing. Okay. Let's try to set up some actual, like, some of this on purpose. We'll put a wood smelt, a wood furnace there. So we only need the one. And then we can do three smelters. Smelter, what I want? Right? I think that's what I'm doing. We have a mechanic, right? Mechanic, boyer, carpenter, carpenter. Cool. Did you already make charcoal or are we just out of wood? Needs logs, okay. We're running low on trees to chop. That's real cool. Um, well then let's go down to our cave, I guess. Oh, we have some jet. Cool. The... Okay. Are there any trees in cave number one? There's a couple trees. A couple rats, of course. Jeez. How many... Has this one rat just been here? Now it doesn't have a bunch of kills. I was expecting it to have like 30 kills. And some giant rats. We need like... In order to get wood out of here, we need to make it safe somehow. We actually come down and... do anything. Uh, unfortunately, we do have a, a stairwell here. We just need to kind of make a... Um, safe thing. <laughs> it's gonna be... like that, and then we can put a bunch of cage traps in here. Do I even... Ballista down here, too. Which... Uh, what would that even look like? A 
it's every it's all awkward. I've made everything awkward by how small everything is. Which was intentional and Okay. So then we can do like this. Right? And then you put a ballista here, then it can shoot through here. And anything that gets through traps down here just gets gets shot. That's kind of what we're doing. I mean, it's pretty pretty dead simple, but. Kind of, kind of on purpose. Um, so we'll, we'll get some wood eventually. Big bad wolf. Uh, what else in here can we cut? This is, I think I've already cut everything except the bayberries. Larch. Are these, these are on top of our stuff. Fine. Uh, we'll lurch fine. That giant wolf is awfully skittish. I guess I'm not really complaining about. Sathit pet butted. Sure, you can kill monsters. Uh, we should make some space for our long-term residence. That's a thing we haven't done. Um, okay, so then this has also been slightly unsafeified. So we're going to put a hatch cover there. Um, but this is our this is our roof access, basically. So now we can start constructing. Roofs. Maybe. Have any have you worked on jet blocks yet? No. Nope. You haven't. Um maybe maybe floors get made out of salt. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the answer here. Salt blocks, of which we have many. Uh, then let's do like this. And then I will put another hatch cover here. And that will be safer than it was. Human bowmen stumbling around obliviously. That's a good sign. Don't know a thread. <laughs> Is our hospital still just like full? Because no one's been sutured in this all this whole time. That's cool. Um, right, which means I'm needing to grow pigtails. Let's just the pigtails can only be grown. In the summer and autumn. Which means we're about to go through two seasons where we can't grow them. Smart. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, so you're going to grow pigtails. This is... This is allowing me to grow above ground crops because a single tile, it's like half of it is above ground. That's weird. Hmm. How does that work? Um, let's do, let's do some cave wheat. 
actually... No. Ignore. We'll have one plot doing pigtails. I want to do... I want to do above ground farms. But it's so dangerous. Okay, so this is being done. Cool. Cool. Yeah, now they can just all come up here. <laughs> Grab the random logs that are on the wall. Oh, perfect. So we do actually have a little bit of wood. Hopefully that gets used for the charcoal. What's all this? Oh, look, look, coal. Perfect. We should make a stockpile for coal. Um, I'm going to have go ahead and make this larger. Because furniture. And then let's make some stone stockpiles. And yeah, this is... Perfect spot for a stone stockpile. Um, we'll call this. Yeah, how do I want to do this? Do something like this. Except. This is stone, but it's specifically going to be for. coal and lignite. Because those are important. Then we'll do another one. For stone. And this is for... Uh, we'll do iron ore here. So hematite, magnetite. And the th third one... I can never remember. Is it limonite? I think it's limonite. Um, and we... I guess what do we have for ore? I haven't really looked. I saw a bunch of hematite. Um, but I've seen a bunch of tetrahedrite around as well, which is for copper. Stones. Stones. Mudstone, shale, claystone, rock salts. We have a, a single marble. Hematite. Yeah, limonite. Uh, Galena is for silver. Ooh, a bunch of platinum. And a whole bunch of tetrahedrite. Okay, so let's make a tetrahedrite... ...thing. Except... ...stone. Uh, it's just... We'll just do tetrahedrite for now. I guess copper nuggets. Cassiterite? And recall. Copper can come from multiple things. Um, but then we have our, our bar block stockpile is here. So it should probably go over here. Um, but I'm just going to straight up... Well, this can be like for stone blocks because the stone worker is over here. We'll do this. Uh, you can take these. Yes? No? Potash and Pearl Ash are weird. But... Uh, well, we're not going to do... Why not doing glass? I haven't seen any sand. We have so little soil, we definitely don't have sand. Uh, but all the stone blocks go there. And then we'll make a new stockpile over here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how big thing to make things. This will be our bar block stockpile for all of our metal bars and our 
ash and coal. Actually, not ash. Ash can go on the other one. And our metal blocks can go here too. Not that we're making metal blocks. And then, yeah, that's fine. And then you need to take... Ash. Thank you. Okay. Have we made... Anything. Requires fuel. Do now, please. Okay. We have three smelters there. Let's do... And what a meh. Metal smith. Don't really matter. Let's let's do here. Oh, I wonder if we even have enough anvils. That's probably our only anvil. Yeah. We'll need to smelt some anvils. That's fine though. Uh okay, so you're still <laughs> waiting for me to do that. But here, look, okay, now there is charcoal. Now Come on. Requires fuel. Because this is where I make coke, right? Yeah, so we need to make coke. So the, the fuel needs to show up in the in the stockpile. That's really the thing. Once someone grabs it. In theory. Yeah, okay, so you grabbed. Now you're making. Here we go. Now, make coke. Like, forever. Okay. And then that will create some fuel for us to make some bars. My goodness. Needs thread. Interrupted by giant wolf. Again, this wolf is just chilling up here. This finally got made. Is it also frozen? No, it's just... It must just be the fact that there's ice underneath. Which is so weird. What does that mean? What do I do about that? And then they're just fighting down here. Okay. Uh, and then let's smooth here. We'll also need to build a place to make siege engines, because that's not a thing we have yet. Door. 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 <laughs> Just lock people in here. Okay. Cool. You smooth that real quick. Fortification. Okay. Yeah, see, look! Coke! Fuel! Perfect. Add. Now I want to make from ore. Smelt ore. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Smelt tetrahedrite ore. We'll, we'll make a couple of those. And then that will make a bar. For this guy, we have cut gems, we have bones, don't have metal bars. Yeah, okay. Literally just needs a single metal bar. A 
tetrahedrite. Come on. Yeah, copper bars and a silver bar. Perfect. And he just went and grabbed it immediately. Pretty sure. Yeah. You, you still need more? You don't have... You don't have your cut gems yet, but they... Red furnaces? I know, right? I really love the, the workshop art uh, in this version. Why? Sorry, not chatting much. Really enjoying the stream. Yeah, no, totally. Totally cool. As long as you're enjoying, that's all I care about. That and making sure this dwarf can get what he needs. Because we have cut gems. And we have... We have bones. Look. No, these are heads. Maybe that's the problem. These are all partial skeletons. Because things like this don't really count as bones for the purposes of... Oh, and then the wool is right there. What did I tell you about? Yeah. Let's keep the bones inside, I guess. Oh, well, we definitely want to keep the wool inside. Because there's... There's bones. We have bones. We have bones. And that should go in there. So then what... What are you needing? We have cut gems. Are they not... Weapons, gems... Rough gems. Rough gems. They all end up still up here. Has no one taken them from our... Is it... The traders are just still... Here. Eh? Why are you here? They get why there's they're just stuck in here. What on earth? Okay, let's try let's try opening this. All of our I need to fiddle with my hockeys. We took our one bin of cut gems. Yeah. Gem bin. It's just still here. But now it... We did not trade the whole gem bin. We did not trade the whole gem bin. Okay, hold on. At the very least, we can do this. You... Cut. Put some gems for our crazy dwarf friend. These. Yeah, there you go. I'm concentrating on something. <laughs> Sometimes I think I need a drink, but I can control myself. Quite, uh... It's not usually what you hear from a dwarf. Okay, you just grabbed a gem. Perfect. So there's something... He can't grab the ones up in the trade depot. For whatever reason. Are you... Are you working? You work furiously. Okay, cool. We have... Oh, yes. I need to I need to grab some more. What? Uh okay, now what? Fisher Dwarf is dead. Why? Giant Stoat? Oh, plump helmet man, that's a cave thing. 
troll. I'm assuming the troll is in the cave. Yeah, rodent spearman. Ugh, all these seriously just now there's a named giant stoat around here. It's still here. Yeah. Where are you? Oh, why is it? I guess I know why, because it locked in. Uh, but our our merchant friend, right? You were, yeah, you're not one of ours. You have, you're way too well equipped to be one of ours. Please just kill the stoat. Nope, go, go get it. Please? <laughs> oh, the dwarf was thirsty? Yeah. He can... So if you, if you don't, um, if you don't satisfy their strange mood... Wow, this is... Wow! Holy cow! That was a fully armored bronze axe dwarf. Just got killed by a stoat. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Wow. So this was going... Okay. You can kind of tell by the color coding. This color is like us and our allies doing stuff. So it turn, turns from good colors to bad colors. And stays there. A lot of times you'll just see a back and forth. Uh, hammer Dwarf bashes the stoat and the leg. Agitated giant stoat is no longer enraged. But it bites the Hammer Dwarf in the head. Deflected by Bronze Helm. Shakes the Hammer Dwarf around by the head. Hmm. Bites in the head. Agitated giant stoat. Shakes the dwarf around by the head. Again and again and again. Like, good luck. Everything was going fine. Stoat was missing. Hammer dwarf was bashing. I really like how... See, like here, the, like back and forth. That's usually how it kind of works. My favorite, though, is how... The hammer dwarf was doing fine, and the stoat was agitated or was enraged. The stoat calmed down, bit the hammer dwarf in the head, and then shook the dwarf around until it died. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. I mean, luckily that's not one of our people, but uh, maybe let's. We don't really care about being in here right now. So I'm just going to lock the door. I don't know. Hammer Dwarf, why? Well, we, we can we can steal, like, look, steal high boot. That's mine now. As soon as we can get rid of the stoat. And then the, I assume that the, it was the same stoat that got our, our dwarf here. Uh, okay, so leather stuff is being made. That's good. Uh, works furiously. Interrupted by giant stoat. Ah. These roads will be completed eventually. Then... This all got done, so good. Okay, so now this is like actually enclosed. Complete. Armorer has created Sanredbeg. A jagged copper greaves. Cool. Offers it to the faithful ore. Is that our site government? I haven't even looked. Um, oh, we're on like completely ignoring the justice screen. We should probably come back to that. Sanredbeg. Treasure of the faithful ore. Worth 4k, cool. 
uh, encircled with bands of rectangular milk quart cabochons and giant stoat bone. On the item is an image of grasshopper men. Why? I've never seen a grasshopper man. The item is an image of reg floor urns and dream cinch the grizzly bear. That's the bear from two episodes ago. Uh, Dream Singed is striking down Reg. Artwork relates to the killing of the dwarf Reg by the grizzly bear Dream Singed in Face Earths in 123. That was last year. Remember when my buddy died last year? Here's some armored greaves made of copper to com commemorate the occasion. Okay. Well, maybe someone will put those on. But, oh, actually, the best upshot of all that. Where's lore? Lore. Are you still here? Where'd you go? Already run off. I'm back here. Lore is now a legendary armor smith. Oh. So now we care about this one not dying. We need to keep this one. This one needs to stay healthy. Um, wonder. So I had some custom labors in our other fortress, but they do not carry over apparently. Uh, so I'm gonna do. How do I? Yeah. So Lore is going to be a dedicated armor smith, and probably also do all the other metal smithing <laughs> as well. Uh. Done. Let's do metal smith. And this is literally just lore. Yeah. Um, we have some proficient middle crafter, furnace operators. Dabbling, dabbling, dabbling. Yeah, look. Lore is now the sole repository of all armor smith knowledge in our fortress. So that's your reward for actually making sure that they can do their strange moods. Cause that was not that wasn't easy. We had to had to rush that. We were probably cutting it close too. Uh, they'll only they'll only wait for so long. Now, these guys. I feel like sometimes you need to like disassemble a trade depot for things to work. Um, okay, so this is linked to two things, so I'm gonna remove this one. Um, I think. Oh, did I? I didn't break these ramps, did I? I've seen people go up and down these. Construct building. Yeah, so people can exit up here. Yeah, there he goes. So why... Why? gonna do and make this inside instead of outside basically uh, I don't know what's gonna happen to our <laughs> our merchant friend like this horse. He, this horse has everything on it. Like, look, it's a whole merchant stockpile. Why are they... I'm going to deconstruct the trade depot and see if that helps. Um, I'm also going to mine all of this out. Nope, okay, we're saving. Uh, while that's happening, I'm going to... Oh, 
It's gonna finish real quick, but I'm gonna grab some water real quick. Cause I am thirsty. It is warm in here. It is becoming warm. It's becoming summer. I have feelings about that. There we go. Okay, one sec. Okay. We will need to make sure that works. Maybe if I can time it right, if I can get the merchants to leave and I can like open the stoat door at the same time, then maybe that'll uh that'll help that. The other thing I could do is I could make this a permanent wall and open this up somewhere else, like through down here. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Ah, see, I was wondering if that was going to happen. That's... Mm. Not ideal. Okay, so yeah, the merchants are leaving now. They got, they just got stuck. I don't know why. Um, like, this horse doesn't have anything on it anymore? Or no, the, that horse is fine. Like, then, yeah. Yeah, that, now, most of the stuff that was on the caravan is now just on the floor. Pick up equipment. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna close this real quick, because they're all gonna, like, rush up and <laughs> grab all that stuff off the ground. Uh, so you may be thinking to yourself, Wow, we just got a bunch of free stuff. And that's only partially true. Why is... these trees aren't being chopped either. Hmm. Strange things. There are strange things. Um, anyway, this is the most immediate thing. In the one sense, yes, we now have... All of the stuff that was on that caravan is now ours. Um, we right because it's not it's not it's not forbidden or anything. Yeah, they're just gonna all come up and grab all the stuff. At least we get all of our cut gems back. Um, but this isn't free. This isn't without consequence. Because uh, at least in in the past, I'm assuming that things work the same way as they did previously. Maybe we'll get some thread. Um, at least uh, we're gonna have plenty of food, cheese for everyone. Anyway, the the main thing, summer summer's just hot. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of really hot weather. Um, all, but our the main thing is that our uh, our apartment does not have airflow or air conditioning or anything like that. So it, our apartment itself gets quite warm in the summer. Anyway, trade caravan and stealing their stuff. Um, there are plenty of ways that you can do that on purpose. Um, I don't know how to how I would have fixed that without without that happening, but words out brain. The main thing to know is that when a caravan enters your map, it knows what it came with. 
and when a caravan leaves your map, it reevaluates what it got, got away with. So the fact that we acquired all this stuff without going through the trade menu is kind of irrelevant. As far as the caravan is concerned, we have stolen all of this stuff because they left the map without it in their inventory. They came on the map with it in their inventory. They know that we didn't trade for it. They know that we have it, though. This isn't like we didn't we didn't sneak one past them. They know that we have this stuff. They're going to go back to their civilization. And. And report that, basically. Yeah, so that was that was accidentally stealing half of a caravan's worth of stuff. Um. Yeah, because we, did, we didn't trade it for it legitimately, and the caravan will know that it didn't get off the map with it. Um, like, if you, if you, if I were to just, like, kill a, a horse that was carrying a bunch of stuff, then same thing would happen. All the stuff would be on the ground. The caravan wouldn't pick it back up. They would just leave. We would, you would claim the stuff, but, but you didn't trade for it. What happened here was I, I disassembled the um, the trade depot. The caravan was stuck. I, they weren't leaving, and I don't know why. I assume it's because a stoat and people got... Things happened. Long story short is that they weren't leaving like they should have, so I disassembled the trade depot to try to get them unstuck. And instead, it I mean, it unstuck them. They left. They're gone now. But all the stuff that was in the depot, all the stuff that they had unloaded, just gets disassembled onto the ground like this. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull that lever. It'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm pretty sure those were the the dwarves that we were trading with, and you have to. Um, you, you have to be pretty bad to your dwarf civilization for them to be upset. Uh, but yeah, like, if you do that to the humans or the elves, like, if you... If you make off with one of their caravans, or, you know, do it a couple times, um, the humans or the elves will declare war on you. They can start being your friends, and if you, you piss them off too much, they will stop being your friends, and that's a good way to do it. Uh, I'm gonna close this just for the sake of safety. Something's something's gonna happen, I'm sure. Um, look at all these people who don't have jobs. And look, all of our yeah. So bitumous coal, lignite, and then we have our magnetite and our hematite, our tetrahedrite. Perfect. Um, I'm going to disassemble this forge, and this kiln, and this smelter, and this wood furnace. And then... Then what? The coke is still there. What do we... what else do we not have? Um, I think we should do... Like soap stuff? We haven't really been killing animals, but I don't think we have... I don't think we really have tallow. Look at all those bayberries! We're cooking and brewing bayberries. Oh, and the whip vines. We need to be, like, doing whip vines and grinding them into to powder and all that good stuff. Yeah, and then like whip, whip wine. We should allow for cooking because it will increase the value of things by a lot. And now we have a whole bunch of cheese. Uh, but do we have tallow? Because yeah, we got a bunch of pond turtles. Yeah, because we're not, like, getting tallow out of pond turtles or fish. Uh, 
where's our where's our pasture? So this one single dead crow that's just been there forever. Real cool. Okay. And the progress is being made on the roads very slowly. We got all that, like, cloth and stuff off of the caravan. I don't think any of it was thread. Yeah, look, we still... We have no thread for sutures. <laughs> still. How is this possible? Look at when all these... All these bugs. Here, let's... Try to make this a little more... <laughs> Hospitally. some beds. And some tables. Okay. And then we can take our hospital zone. And make it bigger. I gotta tell you, one of the biggest upgrades from the previous version of this game to this version is the way that those zones work. Hey, the fact that you can just repaint them like that, that didn't used to be a thing. You didn't you had to like erase the thing and start over. B they can be non-contiguous now, which still blows my mind. And They can be bigger. Like, there used to be, like, a limit to how far they could go in each dimension. And it was, like, not that big. Um, like, like something like this would have been as big as a single zone could be. But now they can be, like, super long and skinny or, like, all these different... Yeah, the, the dimensions are... Like, the limits have been removed, I guess. Or they're way huger. Well, two of our wells are operational. Okay. I am losing track of all the things we're working on. How about a pump? Oh my god. Can we make a screw pump? Question of the year. No, I wanted to... I want to do it with the other thing, because this is, yeah, machine, up, from there, collect, okay, rock salt block, enormous large corkscrew, wood pipe section. So let me select all those, does someone want to come and do this? Okay, oh, someone's going to come do it, perfect. I wonder if the DF hack material selector was waiting for like metal stuff for this. Because it does not need it, clearly. Um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna designate the rest. They could do this. This will maybe keep people a little happier. Which will be important, considering death can just swoop from the sky at all times. Mm. 
There we go. Cool. So now if you could all just do that, that'd be great. And then the only thing we have to worry about is why the windmills are freezing. Yeah, look. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for finally figuring this out. Okay. Um, let's also keep mining for Jet. Because Jet is cool. This is all... That's all Limonite. Ooh. Uh, we should also probably place more... Uh... Dwarf receptacles. Mm. cool to see them like respond that quickly to the things I'm telling them to do because the game is moving at a decent pace they obviously aren't doing all the things I want them to do it's a lot better okay look at all the pump 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 Pumps. Perfect. Okay, so then now I go down to the very bottom of the pump stack and click on it. Uh, it says inactive, so we're still missing. Oh, something got flipped. Is this pumps from north? Pumps from south? This one. And now... We'll see if this disassembles everything. Because it might. Since there's there's like a hole between or no, I didn't even. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens here. No, it didn't. I didn't cut holes for power. That was a thing I just neglected to do. So now I need to disassemble all these again. Okay, it was a good drill. You all did a great job. Now tear it back down and build it back up again. Okay. Do it again. Now. We should, we should get our cave safe because we're gonna want continued access to, to wood. Door hasn't happened yet. Let's do a bridge that opens this way like this. Not out of copper bars, thank you. Continue. And then we'll put in some cage traps. We're also going to want to start making some weapon traps. Oh, that star just kind of... <laughs> I have a star! Can okay. I... can't really move it, can I? I can... Oop. Here. Enjoy! <laughs> uh... So yeah, that'll be fine. We want to get a seed workshop going. Which will be one of these, because it's huge. Huge. Yeah, jeez. These logs, of course. Logs and sutures, that's like 
the main thing we're needing right now. Of course, it'd be cool if people chopped. Is it? I bet our one. I bet our one chopper is um in the hospital. That's my guess. Yeah, let's just. There. More people chop trees, please. Don't know how many axes we have. Hopefully more than one. If you need to go into the hospital and take an axe off of an unconscious person, that's fine. Coffins are being made. Cannot reach sight. That's fine. Okay. Pets. Um, and then we have what? Waterworks access. Let's do. Okay, one north. Eight. And then we link. Needs mechanisms? What do you mean? Are we not just making mechanisms? How are we... Why is this full of rock, people? Did I tell... Well, that was a cool misclick. Uh, I turned my furniture stockpile into a stone stockpile. Cool. Got a lot of rock. It is a lot of rock. I mean, I do kind of want to make... a Kalanite one, at least. Let's do this. Just no. that one. And then the rock salt will turn into blocks <laughs> over time, I guess. Uh, that's gonna clog up everything. I'm working on doors and such. Okay, here's our seed workshop. Let's make some ballista parts. Yeah, make ballista parts. We need logs. We need logs to make the ballistas. Of course we do. I told that to be undone. It has not happened. Um, what else do we need? Maybe another mechanic if they're being so behind. Boyer, carpenter, carpenter. I'm gonna move the boyer up. Or even, I'm just gonna put the mechanic. We'll just do doop doop and remove that one. Is two enough? I don't know. At any rate, man that rodent person is just the pile. Um, are those really the only two doors? Yeah, we have so many doors. We need many doors. Coffin, coffin, cabinet. That's right. 
Why is... There are a handful of cabinets in here. I haven't placed any cabinets. I don't know why they're still making a whole bunch. Where... cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's gonna stop. <laughs> there, see? All the Kalanite. And those are just on repeat. Okay. Let's... Well, we should have some... Some stuff now. Finally being removed. Okay. I want to get all that set up, but I also kind of need to go to the bathroom. Making mechanisms. Okay, did all of our pumps get disassembled? Also, can I let this stoat out? I think we can let... I think we can even let this stoat out. Go on. Which is all this, all this stuff that hasn't been moved yet. Oh, you just want to go right into the cage? Cool. Works for me. What are you? Or are you grabbing a bin? No. Oh, you're looting the corpse. Perfect. <laughs> I do care about that. Now let's go ahead and unforbid all your junk. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And that kind of weird middle section where I feel like our... Like the bare bones are here, but there's still a lot of things that aren't quite working yet. Um, let's do... Let's, let's finish this. I do want to get our waterfalls going. So, I'm going to channel that square, and that square. And that square. And this will be how the different levels of pump transfer power down the stack. Yeah. Dear animal, no creature, of course. If these llamas could start reproducing, that'd be great. Is this, did this get moved? Like, why is this still up here? Stray llama wool. I have told you to not... to not. And there's some too. You should be spinning this wool, like right now. And that happens at a farmer's workshop. Spin thread. Cool. Please and thank you. <laughs> and it's just the logs. Did these get chopped up here? Those got chopped. And then left an opening because of course it did. And that was it, right? Okay. Yeah, look at all these. Look at all this road.
I'm still <laughs> waiting on just the one. Why are you this way? Floor. Continue. Okay. Still waiting on these to be made too. I'm gonna need logs to make those. Of course, now there's now there's an owl up here. Okay, someone spinning thread. You're spinning thread. Now, hopefully, that goes straight into the hospital. Rock crafts. I should. I should also make a little stockpile for jet, but I'm. trying to use jet for blocks, but I can't just say only use jet for blocks. Because blocks isn't an economic job. You can restrict stone types to be used for economic jobs, which means that it's a specific thing for each thing. Uh, but like jet doesn't have an economic purpose. So I don't even have the ability to do that. Like I can, like marbles. Marbles a real good example. You'll see marble and chalk. Um, they can be used as flux stone uh, for making steel and stuff. So that's its economic use. But marble can also be used for like normal stone things. So if you unrestrict it, then you can make marble statues. But if you keep it restricted, then uh, it'll only be used for for flux. But I can't really do that with jet. When when they take a stone working job, they're just going to grab the closest stone, whether it's jet or not. So jet kind of gets used for for multiple things, basically. But maybe I mean if I keep the jet over here, then there's there's going to be closer stones over here for a while. Hi, creature. May I help you? Um, yeah, I was going to go to the bathroom, wasn't I? Let's check our hospital. Hey, look! Hospital's empty! Perfect. That was helpful. Cool. That's that's good. <laughs> that needed to happen. Okay. Um, I'm going to be right back, and then we're going to set up our metalsmith and work orders and stuff.
Uh, okay. Does in a better place now count as better? <laughs> I, yeah, no, I, it, it is empty because they got better. Pretty sure. We don't have a whole bunch more full coffins. Right? Yeah, still got what? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Seven filled tombs? That's not too bad. I mean, there were like five people in the hospital just now, so. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, cool. So that's. Yeah, we had five people in there. Now, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna designate these pumps to be made again, and then we'll work on those work orders. Let's do a screw pump. <laughs> this is exactly like we did before, except now there's holes in the ground. Oh, except I want to want to use the other designator. Don't. Don't fiddle with the microphone. Do this. Select from the north. Rock salt. Cool. And then from the south. And then from the north. And then from the south. And then from the north. From the south. From the north. From the south. What's confusing is it every like if I click this and then place one, it resets. So it's like on every other one I'm changing and not changing, instead of like flipping back flipping back and forth. It gets all confused in my head. There we go from the sound. Hopefully they figure that out. Okay. Now. Work orders. What do you all... Okay. <laughs> Everyone got busy all of a sudden. Work orders. So... We need to do fuel. So to make, I think, yeah. So we want to make coke from bitumen coal and make coke from lignite. Um, they will, those both turn into coke, but they're from two different sources. So you need to make two different jobs. Um, so I'll just pop both those in there. And I've been liking these these smaller jobs. We'll just do smaller jobs more frequently. Um, check daily if amount of coke. There's coke and refined coal, and I can never. I can never remember quite the difference. Um, but we'll keep like. We want to keep like a decent amount on hand. We'll keep like 50 coke on hand. Not satisfied. What do you mean? I guess it's possible we've already made. Yeah, <laughs> we've already made quite a bit of coke, so that's fine. Um, OK, 
keep we'll keep 50 coke or even if we're if we're already over 100 then we'll stay at 100 that's fine and then that and then same thing here check daily when coke is less than 100 and lignite is greater than 10 so then we will have coke because like refined fuel I don't know what that I'll double check things later um, but since we have so much like hematite and stuff uh, we'll, we'll we'll smelt some of that uh, so we'll go in here and we'll do magnetite yeah that's what I want smelt magnetite Five at a time. Check daily. Iron bars. Less than twenty. We don't. You don't want to keep a ton on hand. Is my my philosophy. Um. Oh, and the the coal. Yeah. Yeah. And then you need to do that for each ore. So I'm pretty sure limonite. And check daily. Yeah, iron. Less than 20. Limonite and coal. Magnetite, limonite, and hematite. Daily, iron, 20. Yeah, so we're. Yeah. Now, in theory, they will start smelting. Probably want more smelters, realistically. Is smelter. We could like think about traps. We could make traps out of like copper and stuff. We were doing bronze traps in the last fortress. But they weren't. They weren't quite cutting it, were they? I don't know if the answer is... I mean, part of the thing was uh, mechanism, mechanism quality. I think that's a part of it. But also the quality of the weapons is a thing, too. Maybe we skip the weapon traps for now and we do... The upright weapon spikes. Can also be linked to levers and pressure plates to raise them into intruders. Yeah. We still have to make spikes. Um. I don't know. I don't know what our best weapon trap situation is going to be here. Now there's a bunch of smelt jobs. So they'll, they'll start working on that. Um, look at our, our leather. Um, that's why they're not moving the leather. It's all. Oh. Do something like that. And then this is our cloth. Yeah. Well, since we uh, accidentally absconded with a whole caravan's worth of cloth, I guess I should get some clothing orders going, too. I 
only feel a little bad about that. Uh, loom, leather, clother, clother. So there's... No, not you. I want the control panel. Kind of tempted to just turn on auto clothing. Automatically manage clothing work orders. When invoked without parameters shows a summary. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. Currently set zero automatic clothing orders. Following units need bodywear 10. Needs new shoes 7. Needs new headwear, basically everyone. Apparently set zero automatic clothing orders. Well, that's because we just turned it on. Uh, might just leave it on the defaults and see what happens. I'm assuming it's just going to add some jobs in there. There's the combat going on somewhere. Needs empty cage. Needs logs. We need to reclaim some of our cages. Because they're all full of stoats. <laughs> Look at all our... We have giant stoats and stoat people. And probably agitated giant stoats. Okay. Well, this is going to be our little... Oh, I just made cages instead of cage traps. Do that all the time. Oh, look. They're wearing stuff. Leather leggings. Leather helm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at them. Like they're wearing a uniform. Wow. Anything's possible when you steal a caravan. Actually, we made most of that stuff. Cool. we all just got crossbows. Cool. This is our, our empty crafting stockpile. What? There's another stoat in here. There, please leave. I'll lock this. Thank you. Oh, we need to build a depot again. Let's not forget about that. Yeah, whatever. Um, if you could leave, that would be great. Maybe. Or you can just hang out and down there. Yeah, cool. And then into the cage. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to open here. And then this is going to become a wall. And then th this, like, this will be the entirety of our, our trade area. Um, and then over here, I want to make... A little stockpile. That's gonna be for animals. It will not accept empty cages. It will accept stoats. Nighty night. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for making a making a little dwarf. I'm, I'm happy that I'm happy that people are liking it. So yeah. See you again. Uh, we'll do stoats. And giant stoats and stoatmen. Um, that'll be. I mean, that's a lot on its own. Um, but then it will take from, or is it? Yeah, they're just okay. So you take from here. Animal drop 
Oops. Oh no. What happened to our glass maker? Did I set this up right? This is taking from. Yes. Okay. What? Giant wolf. Agitated giant wolf bites the glassmaker in the foot. Well, this was a one-sided fight. Glassmaker bites the wolf in the rear paw. And then does not do anything else. Uh, expedition leader hacks at the giant wolf in the neck with the copper battle axe. Thank you, expedition leader. Suppose our squad should have some melee things. You all. Is the wolf dead? No? Where? What? Herbalist? Is there. There's the wolf. Okay. So the wolf managed to kill two people. <laughs> now everyone's gonna come in. Oh, the expedition leader died. Huh. Does that mean we lost a... No? Dang. Oh look, another stoat. So I think what th one thing we're gonna do next time, hopefully this stoat ends up in a cage. I would like to make our wall into something that our Marx dwarves can stand on top of and keep an eye on all the things that are happening, like especially here. Make some, make like a tower situation here, and and incorporate defending over here as part of their schedule. That we just have some crossbow dwarves guarding our our entrance at all times. I think that's a smart idea, especially for how wild this fortress is getting. Almost done with our our road. No one we're saving. Yeah, uh, let's check our um, let's check our pump stack once we're done saving. Okay. Stoat, stoat, stoat. Of course. Um, okay, so then that got opened. I don't want to do these one at a time. How does this? I should have done this the other way. Build a wall. Oh, gotta wait. There we go. Construct wall. Okay. <laughs> all our, all of our stoats. Hooray! Really, what we should do? Hmm. I want to be able to like shoot at them. If we just do this, let's just smooth all of these walls and carve fortifications. 
We'll basically dump the stoats in and station our dwarves outside and we'll just shoot in. And get some crossbow practice. Okay, please make the thing. Need wood, of course. <laughs> Something became a duck. Cool. So now, now we're safe. You look another fey mood. That will be something for next time, I think. Hopefully we have everything he needs already. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, progress is being made. We have, we have like, metalsmithing stuff going. We're, we're going to need to figure out... I'm having a hunch that the ice here and these being the ones that are frozen is not a coincidence. see how we end up fixing that though maybe this just won't fill up hmm. maybe let's do this let's No clue what that will do, but that'll at least that'll separate the two sides of this pond, basically. Then maybe since this is like fully covered, yeah. See, it's not snowing here. Maybe it won't. Water won't accumulate in here, and then it won't freeze, and then that won't mess with the the windmills. Question mark. Are any of the... did any of these work? I don't know that we actually have any work in. Anyone who's able to do that? I think B stuff is just everyone. Mow. Big stretch. Anyway. Um, I think we're gonna call it here. We'll, we'll make sure that that a mood happens. We'll build some defenses up here. We'll we'll finish the cave uh, entrance stuff so that we can have access to the wood down there. That'll be helpful. And then we can build some ballistas. That'll also be helpful. Now that we have metal stuff going, we can try to maybe we'll make some weapon traps, spike traps, something, something. We'll figure something out. We'll think about it. But anyway. I think that's it for today. Um, and yeah, and I'll keep fiddling with our little our little dwarf friends down here. Um, I have like mo mo at this point, it's mostly uh, adding in all the different animations. Um, I can put in like an attack animation, so you can all like swing your stuff. I want to do like a like a cheer animation, uh, that kind of a thing. But yeah, that'll that'll happen. Um. And I can even... yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're still on that. I can block people up here even. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we'll continue this on Thursday. More more of this junk on Thursday. Um, and then more, more Sekiro on Saturday, and... I don't know. I'll be around. Come, come make your dork. Um, I th it will only work when I'm running the software. Like the extension will be there, um, even if I'm not online, because it's just in like one of the panels down below. Um, but I have to be running the software for you to actually interact with it. So uh, come by when I'm streaming, and you can make yourself a little thing. And as long as you're here, they'll just sit there and and hang out and and chat with us. Um, yeah. Cool. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Stay kind.